yeah, 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 na, 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 yeah. Certain fire flames, now I'm born again. Times really change, talk truth. We've seen better days, the youth not safe again. What a damn shame, talk truth. I want that them are promo, so quick them selling out, them sold them cashing out. Yeah, well, this is Kemetic 9 representing for I Just Star and the Mindset. If you now move right, get your mind checked. Yard slang, wait there. Somebody says something about Jamaican patois and style and fashion. Yes, the Ross, me a search the other day online and buck up on a new, authentic Jamaican clothing brand. Walk one of the latest and newest one in a t shirt, booty, slippers, and woman's bag. And a whole heap of other things I may not even mention. Search online for more information. Yard slang. Hit, Hit them, them with a bang. bang. Mindset, blessed love, manners, and respect. Well, have a great day, them, in the divine name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eel Selassie I the First, and also Empress Menin the First. Marcus I, Wally Manuel I, King Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. Warm welcome, beautiful viewers and subscribers. You know, good to be have the item here. As the item know, life is our ultimate position. And um, nothing no greater than that, no matter what go on. Um, today I've got a special guest um, on, the sp- on the platform. You know, a guest that is... Um, absolutely no stranger to the platform um i guess that uh i i I look up to you know um uh an individual that i have a lot of love and respect for um is an individual is an empress from the ethiopian africa black international congress um is an empress of the woman freedom liberation league scene um she is an a uh, legal and professional lawyer and attorney zine and i'm speaking about no other than empress marina i want to welcome her to the platform again blessed love honorable <laughs> empress majesty my lord blessed love honorable <laughs> great of the eye here honorable <laughs> How is the eye? My Lord, I'm doing very well, thanks. Beautiful, beautiful. Give thanks. Give thanks to life. Yes, I. I know it's a family. Everyone is good. Rastafari. Yes, I. All right, um, straight to the point. You know, we have we have business to deal with, so um let we get get up to business. Um, it's good to have the eye here, um, a, a foundation empress of the Ethiopian Africa Black um, International Congress uh, out there 10 miles in Jamaica. Um, also, uh, Woman Freedom Lig- Liberation League, um, a member for a number of years now. Um, you're, you're, we're reasoning because of um, the back to school um initiative by the woman freedom liberation league um talk to me about about that you know and about the whole initiative uh, yes my lord uh, yes the, the back to school initiative is the main point of the um the discussion but let me first say thank you for having me and thank you for that very very kind and gracious um you know introduction Most welcome. all right if that's, yeah, most My welcome. Yes. so the back to school initiative now so approximately i mean over 18 months ago right after the mysterious disappearance of our beloved priest headley and the the brutal murder of our dearest sister empress sharon the woman's freedom liberation league addressed the matter by calling the calm in response to some pushback some, some you know grumblings that we were hearing about taking um you know like retaliating against the people who had um so 
violently, you know, uh, violated us, you, you know, in so many ways. And the league, the Women's League, declared unequivocally that the Congress in particular and not the far right generally, we do not um, condone, you know, the killing of black people. And we especially do not kill young black men who are already an endangered species. Right. right, we recognize right. that the system is arrayed against the black man on so many levels, right? So that they're, that they are both they are both victim, and and then they as indeed they tend to turn turn around and victimize um, their own you know their own people, and so we 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 saw that we understand that we understand the dynamics of the situation that create this this type of aggression, this type of violence that um, black people win against each other. And so we, we use these um, two unfortunate incidents as a turning point. That is what we are, we, you know, we're seeking to do, to use these incidents as a turning point to work to repair the obvious broken relationship between the Congress and the community at the foot of Bubble Hill. The League stated that it is the empresses who will take the lead in this endeavor, right? to bring the two communities together for some healing and some reconciliation. So right. in that connection, the Women's League um, has proposed to sponsor a back-to-school event whereby the empresses of the League would distribute school supplies of the children from the community at foot of the hill to signal the Congress's fulfillment of its promise, right, um, to, as I said, to repair the fractured relationship between the um, the Congress and the community, in addition to fulfilling our um, our promise to um, you know the naked, clothed, sick, nourished, age protected, and the open cared for. Mm -hmm. Moreover, we would we could also use this endeavor to dispel the myth that Baba Shanti does not support formal education, because that is there is a perception out there about us about Baba Shanti that we do not endorse education we don't promote it and so we want to overcome that perception um you know in addition to the wider objective as i said of um forging a better relationship between the congress itself at 10 miles will be and the community at the foot of the hill now to that um to that end we had um embarked on a fundraiser we collected funds which we now have in our possession and um it's lodged in the, um, the, the Women's League of Public in Jamaica. The, the, the original plan was that this back-to-school initiative would have taken place on Marcus Garvey's, uh, you know, birthday. But um, because the time time was so tight, the turnaround was so tight, we, we decided to call it off and to, in order to give ourselves more time to plan. You know, right, and to you know, to, to do this thing, if we're going to do this launch, we wanted to do it in a you know, in a very organized way and in a very effective way. And so we were working under some very tight constraints. And so we decided that we we're going to put it off. You know, we we're going to delay it until um, at some other um, the time. We had also started to debate, you know, what was the best way you know you know and and how we can make the, the, the big impact and one of the things that we had um we're, we're discussing we're still discussing is whether or not maybe we should just sponsor one one school like a basic school or maybe we can make a contribution of say a black board or we can make a contribution of doing repair to a school that they need some sort of repair because i mean you know the money that we are collecting is, is good but it is it's not so <laughs> the, the amount of money is not so great that we can actually, um, you, you know, fund as many children, individual children, as we would have liked. So we are thinking that to maximize the money that we have and to get the greatest return on that, we may need to focus on one school, right? And as That's I fine. said, the, right with a black with a blackboard or maybe some peers or just making donations to the children in that school right or in a particular class right so we are going to we're still doing more um investigation uh, to see the schools in the area and how best we may approach this we have got, gotten you know we have gotten 
ideas from various people as to how how to proceed, which way to go, and so we are taking them all under advisement to see which is the um, which is the best, as I said, and the most efficient way of um, addressing this this matter. And can can people still um, can people still donate or contribute to to the cause because um, they probably might be hearing this a little bit um, late after the fact. Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know if there's if there's any way uh, you know at some point I would love I'd love for the eye to um you know give out that information so people can. Uh, you know, donate if 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 they, they you know they see um, fit, or if they you know if they have you know the the, the financial um, support to to do so, you know. Yes. No. Um, unsurprisingly, or maybe surprising to some, but there are people who oppose this initiative altogether. What? People who are saying that any money we collect, we should use it towards the Congress. Um, I have heard, you know, like the Congress, you know, we need windows for the tabernacle. There are, you know, there are other um, needs. The Congress has needs that have not been, that are going, you know, unmet. And so um, they they do not see the wisdom in us collecting funds to do something that is beneficial to the community at the foot of the hill rather than the Congress itself. Okay. Uh, right. And... My response to that is that what we are proposing to do, we have to see, we have to look at the larger picture, right? right? And we, right, and the and the objective of our actions, right? We are seeking to we are seeking to do something that is noble and that is um, going to yield dividends for us in terms of the nature of the relationship between the people at the foot of the hill and once again the congress at 10 miles will be now when when dada was um when dada was around right we, there was a you know there was a relationship so that we didn't find that people were coming there and they were disrespecting congress members they were violating and you know breaching our protocols and our principles they were more respectful of the Congress and what we stood for. They knew who we were, what we were about, and we knew who they were. And there was a, there was some there was a sort of respect. However, we, as we as we have seen that that relationship has broken down. And once again, that is we are seeking to repair that that broken relationship. We are seeking to get back to the place where they have a healthy amount of respect for us. A little. And they do not violate us in certain ways. True. Right? And by, by our good deeds, we hope to, to, you know, we hope to sort of change, change hearts and minds. And so that is the objective. So I want individuals to know that the wider objective of what we're seeking to do is really something quite, um, it, it will yield benefit and evidence to the Congress. And I, it is noble. Furthermore, we have always touted ourselves as being poor people's government. We are the poor people's government. Well, those people at the foot of the hill are poor people. And so as their government, we are going to take steps to show them that we care about them. Exactly. And that um, not just about their souls, but also about their physical body, mm-hmm. right? And their, their, their existence. So to the extent that we can assist in any way, and we believe that this is a good first step, it would be a very good first step. And that the fact that we are helping, we are seeking to do this for the people at the foot of the hill, it does not it does not absolve us of our responsibility towards the Congress. Because we do have a responsibility towards the Congress as Congress members. So it should not be taken, it should not be seen that this is a competition with the Congress. Because whatever the Congress needs, we can all we needs, we can always collect separately for that naturally right so um moreover i think it's high time that the women's freedom liberation league become more involved in community outreach we have been woefully deficient in that area we have not done well 
we have not done well at all. Mm. And so we need. Um, I, I think this is an area that we need to um, we need to develop and we need to uh, we need to strengthen. We need to we need to implement. Um, uh, you know, forget about strengthening. We need to implement this. We need to become more involved in 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 issues such as child development, as education, child care. You know, um, providing um, you know assistance to empresses in need or empresses in distress. I would like to see the league become more involved. And as I said, this is a, this is a very good first step. Um, do, 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 do the item look to um, be more hands-on in, in, in this uh, initiative, not just um, from a financial um, perspective, but also, as the I say, um, from a physical perspective, you know where you know the, the the you know the idea would probably you know go and meet and teach you know who right. have the, 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 the 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 proper skills are 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 professional um background in teaching and 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 dealing with child care um will 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 that be a part of um the, the initiative where the item go into the community and, and, well, and it is not. Sorry, God. Well, well, we're just, we're just launching, and it is an ongoing discussion, and so we will see what we are able to do. You know, from a financial standpoint, because everything takes money, mm -hmm. and so we wanted to start off small. We don't want we don't want to overpromise and underperform. So we would we would start off with this, um, as I said. The initiative sponsoring a school, or however you know, however this thing goes, um, whichever way it plays out, start off with that, and then see how we can gradually increase our involvement, particularly in that community, because it is right, out, it is right at our, our, our doorstep. It is right at our doorstep, and so we want to get, we want to become more engaged. We want more positive engagement mm. between ourselves and that community. Moreover, I find confirmation for our action in the fact that when Dada was alive, you know, he would he was very generous to the people in that community. They would come to the funeral, they would attend um, you know, with celebration and, and, and public service, so and so on. And I've also understand from others that Dada would you know would sometimes you know give food to that community. Sister Esther has told me that. Chris Duffus has told me that. That that I used to you know extend kindness to the people there sometimes give money food um, and and whatever so we can carry on that tradition so we are I believe that our, our action is in line with the teachings of Dada and and his, and his act as well as his actions so I do not believe that we are out of we are out of line mm. or we are doing anything contrary to what um to what the Congress stands for. Now, um, Simon, previously, I want to address the issue of our duty to the foundation in general. We, as Bobo Shanti, living off the hill, we have a duty to support the EABIC foundation at 10 miles from the information. True, true, true. I totally agree. But, well, I, well, well, but let, let me ask you the question, Honorable Empress. Yes. Other than just the eye, just addressing it like that. Please allow me to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, the, because the the foundation seems to get um overlooked more while you know when 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 um when you look upon it you know it 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 it, it like things discontinued certain way it doesn't get the support um that it it it's supposed to get um on an international level and you know it it's 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 more than just a local thing to Jamaica, you know, it's it's a international thing. Are we fulfilling our duties as the the, the I um, was alluding to a while ago? Absolutely not. We are in breach. We are in violation of our duties to the foundation. And you know, you and I speak. You know, we speak. Yeah, you know, often enough. And you know that I have expressed this point of view to you, 
that um you know we have a duty to support the eabic at 10 miles will be in jamaica mm-hmm. because this location remains our official headquarters where we receive international guests True. from all over the world it is where school groups scholars researchers documentarians filmmakers this is where they go when they want to learn more about Baba Shanti culture it is the address that is listed on our letterhead Therefore, we have a duty to keep up the premises as well as to provide for the ones who are living on the hill. Because they are doing, they are fulfilling a vital, very vital part of the Baba Shanti culture. They go, they have rural call. They have, you, you, you know, they have Psalms reading three times a day. They keep the Sabbath service going. These are the people who are fighting the spiritual fight on a daily basis that empowers you and, and me, right? It empowers us to go out and do what we have to do. So therefore, we cannot neglect the, the soldiers fighting the spiritual war. I am telling you, it remains, this is a, it remains a, a shame on Baba Shanti that we are not supporting our Congress that we are not supporting the people living on the foundation. We have a duty to provide for the well-being and the welfare of the brethren and empresses living on the hill at 10 miles per day. I want to be on record as saying that. This duty, and it is not contingent upon anything. Oh, I have spoken to brethren about it, and they said to me, oh, but you're not behaving. The people on the hill are misbehaving. You're not living up to principle. Really? Really? Because a lot of us out here are not living up to principle. I thought we still don't eat. True. But the, the, right. So you're, you're right. You're right to eat should not be contingent upon whether or not you are living up to principle. Or not. It, 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 right. It None is good that you should perfect. live up to principle. And particularly if you're living on the foundation, because you're there to defend the principle. Mm-hmm. We would like you to live up to principle. But sometimes people are discouraged and disheartened when they are hungry, when they are sick and infirm, and there's no one to help them. People lose faith. And so, once again, let us start somewhere. You know, let's, let us start somewhere. We're not going to wait for them to get holy and righteous to our standard before we, before we, are, before we feed them. Let us start feeding them and, and see if we, um, we don't get better results. I believe we'll get better results. Whatever, du- whatever you, you know, duty you believe that you're shorting in. Because, you know, you have, a, you know, you have these, um, you know, call them Monday, Monday morning quarterback. You know, I mean, they, they can tell you the game, what should have happened and what this should have happened and this is not happening and all of that. Mm. But they are not there. They're not dealing with the harsh, the harsh realities of life in the foundation. And so it's all, it's all well understood, you know, uh, uh, you know, a, a separate instance away and impose your will. Mm. But we need to, we, the duty we have to the foundation is absolute. And it is a crying shame if on the hill are going hungry on a daily basis. A lot of the ones living on the foundation are even elderly. And so they need more than ever. They need proper, they need nutrition. Uh, Back in the day, my lord, yeah. when we, the elders, who are elders now, when we were living on the hill back in the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, we were living for free. But it doesn't mean the living was free. Somebody else was hustling and paying that and paying for us to live. Yeah. The, the money that was earned from the broom and the mat making could not sustain, couldn't do all of the things that needed to be done feed all of those virgin and infants and children living on the foundation and then turn around again and it office work you understand mm-hmm. to buy ink for the typewriter to buy paper to send out all of the printing the, the printing sending people out on delegation all of this takes money mm-hmm. so we need to stop behaving like children like we don't know that it takes money to run a government all right it's good that you touched that important point there um government um and money see but does, 
the government, how important it is, I don't want to stray from the point, but I think it um, correlates with what um, the I is saying. Um, how important it is now, because then I, I, I would have think that we, we would have, have the government or the parliament in place operating as, as how it should be, does the government not functioning as how it should have any impact on what they are saying right now? Right. Uh, admittedly, admittedly, mm-hmm. the government is not function, functioning the way it ought to function. But maybe it is not functioning because we are not supporting it. Maybe because we are not supporting it in the way we ought to. That is why it is not functioning. Once again, when we lived on the foundation, there were there was brethren like Prince Aikil, Prince Diego, and others who were out there hustling and sending money to the Congress for the running and the operation of the Congress, including the government. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So therefore, if we are not supporting the Congress, how can the government function in the way it ought to? Yes, yes, is is yeah because it's important, you know, because is the as the I said earlier, is us bubbish and to say we're poor people government. So um right. I and I who make up the congregation of the Congress um should have that art because is 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 the congregation first is the government then in that sense is the people right you know. Right. Right. So as I said, we have people who are there holding up the order that sustains us out here to work they're doing their part we must do our part and if what you can contribute if you can't be there holding up the Sabbath order holding up the psalm reading you have to be you have to do something else which is provide financial support so that those things can get done Seamlessly. We, we need to stop being so naive. We're you know, people. It takes money to live. We have elders on the foundation. They need porridge. They need soup. They should be assured of at least one solid, proper meal per day, nutritious meal. People who are sick should have an expectation that some amount of help is going to come their way. And I do not understand why it is, it is so elementary that I do not understand why it is such a hard, it's a hard point to make. It is our duty. It is in our creed. It is in our creed. Naked clothes, nourished, age protected and infant cared for. So we need to fulfill this promise. Otherwise, we are in violation of our creed we are in breach of our duty and let me say it a different way maybe in a more understandable way we what list we what list if we have people on the foundation going hungry we what list that is yeah that is the point i'm trying to make so at a minimum, we should be sending every one of us ten dollars a month. Ten dollars per month. That's all we're asking. If you have two hundred dollar twenty, send ten dollars a month. That is too much. I believe the, the Congress will be able to punch with that. You know, getting in that um, that income on a regular basis. Um, should should anyone apart from anything else? All right, I'm not trying to be pessimistic or anything, but um, asking question that I know other people would mm-hmm. probably um mm-hmm. ask, um, and and uh, you know accountability then because you know that it, when you see when it comes to money, black people especially have this um trust issue. We don't trust ourselves, you know. We don't mm-hmm. love ourselves enough to trust ourselves, and then it it leads for me to ask this question now: um, 
where does the accountability comes into to all of all of this now because that i personally don't have a problem you know contributing you know to my you know to my government or congress you know 10 pounds a month you know to see it operate and run but other people when when them hear two thousand dollars sum up or you know people are gonna start query oh, 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 oh who get the money oh the money i spend oh, you know you got them type of people you know so i'm just well, asking. We're, we're talking about, yes we're talking about two different things right so we're talking first and foremost our duty mm-hmm. to the congress Right. The sec- the other issue now, which is an administrative issue, yeah, is how best to administer it. Right. So the, so the duty to contribute to the Congress is separate and apart from, from the, the administration. administration. Yeah. You have a duty to contribute. So you know, if you're going to use now and say, well, you know, I'm not sure about the administration and how the money is going to be. No, no, no. Well, that, you're not that send still, the money. Right. That mm. still does not absolve you of the duty. Right. We cannot allow the we can't allow the perfect to become the enemy of the good, right? We can't allow the possible difficulty in administering in administering the situation to cancel out our duty to support our Congress. Mm. Now, yes, the second, the second thing now is all right. Once we have established that we have a duty to the Congress, and we accept that, we want to ensure now that this money gets spent in a responsible manner so then we will set up the system by which you know put someone in charge of it two people three people five people however maybe, maybe three too many you know too many to spoil the bride. right so you put three people in charge of it and say we will listen to this. this is what and you know we're going to continue to collect the ten dollars a month from everyone but we will withhold the funds until we can get proper accounting you understand yes i but the duty to, to contribute is still there but it is now up to us to put systems in place or a processing tool by which this money will go to you know whomever and it will be handled in this way or in that way right and we want we want accountability you understand i mean we don't want anyone squandering the money but you know it's it's not about we waste ten dollars a month. We waste ten dollars a day. So quite frankly, if somebody even can pay for the hundred dollars out of the two thousand dollars, and I'm not going to lose sleep over and discontinue my ten dollars a month um, obligation, right? People will use this as, as a reason, as an excuse to not fulfill their duty. And once again, we, I'm telling you, we have emissaries that we have sent out. We have ambassadors. We have Priest Paul. Priest Paul should not be in East Europe. And um, I'm not saying that we are going to provide for him on a monthly basis by sending him money. But he should be able to call the Congress and say, you know, this month things are tight on me. Or there's this thing that I want to look about. And I need some funding from the Congress. If we are operating as an efficient government, as a true government, you can't have your ambassador send them out and then you know <laughs> you, you just leave them you just leave them on their own without your support. True. Sometimes the man them can't get moral support, let alone financial support. Right? We have free Azar down in South Africa. We have free Murdoch. We have people all over the place that we're not supporting. What kind of government send those, send those emissaries and, uh, you know, and ambassadors and leave them stranded? Leave them to sort of figure it out on their own. Once again, we want this. We give thanks. We have people like Sister Angie who never tires in assisting the Congress. In you know, seeing to it that food reach the Congress, in some, you know, in some way, shape, or form. But it should not be on her shoulders alone. I mean, we pray for her. We pray for her continued strength. We pray for her. You know, she's our, 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 she's
to use a football metaphor or she wants to use a soccer metaphor she is our striker so we pray for her for strength for strength because she is unwavering in her support of the congress and because of that i'm sure god will continue to bless her her bread basket will never be empty because she has shown such a devotion and a loyalty to the congress it is unmatched it is unmatched in scope and consciousness and so you know we must pray for her yes i but we need to start we need to start operating like a government again my love and and and, and the congress needs our, they need our support i am I, this, this issue is a particular sensitivity to me because i i heard of how um i have heard of how um Jadan, i think he's yeah christian at the time but when i was on the foundation he was just and i heard you know that he had diabetes he had gotten sick i saw him a few years ago i was in jamaica and i stopped and i hit him and he didn't recognize me at all and i kept saying empress marina empress marina and it's like uh and then i said priest border and he goes oh he said empress board and then Right, and we started talking, but at the time he wasn't living on the foundation. Then I heard that he subsequently moved back to the foundation, and then he was quite sick. And then, but he died because he was not getting the kind of care that he needed for his condition, right? He was diabetic. And so I said, you know, it's, it's painful. It should never happen. It should never happen. Uh, we should be able to take better care of our elders. People who have given their, you know, so much of their lives. Soldiers, freedom fighters. And then in their last days, or when they, you know, they fall ill, they're not getting the kind of support that they need from the Congress. And I said, this must never happen again. This must never happen again. And so, you know, I, I, I give thanks for the, the elders council with respect to its mission to serve the elders of the congress no it is a it is a responsibility that we all bear right time to rise time to open up your third eye full time you start to realize that all this time they've been telling us one bag of lies Telling us a God in the sky that for you and I he die. Thank you, Jesus, or me, or Miles. These things they taught us from we were a child. False indoctrinating the innocent mind. Mind control is the signs of the time. Android, cyborg, AI, all these things combined. All these things combined might sound like a rhyme. But the evidence reality is right before your eyes. And I know this guy's. The age of Aquarius is the shifting of the time. Sun, moon, stars, the planet in the cosmos align. As the cosmos align, low vibration, frequency decline. You strengthen your mind. Access to knowledge, information from the Almighty Creator Divine. Creator Divine. The time arise. I feel with time for rise. The time appointed. Because I am anointed. The time arise. I feel with time for rise. The time appointed. Because I am anointed. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just thought the mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just thought the mindset.